So welcome back guys this is your host Babriksha and today we're gonna talk about a video which is made by on-chain crypto what he has to say about himself and in, in my description box you know it's right there i'm not a financial advisor but yeah. what i am yeah. i'm a snowflake yeah. melt i'm a yeah. snowflake melt i'm a snowflake melt yeah. 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 and the things he are claiming are the honest ideas or just assumption and hypothesis of a person who do not understand really the blockchain and the protocol of seifu like the video if you like truth, honesty, and mathematics. Is there any truth behind it or not? So let's see and dive into the video and do not waste our more time. S 69 uh, that, quintillion. Okay, so now let me try and even make sense of that number. Like, what is 69 quintillion, bro? Like, how many billions is that? That sounds like a lot. 69 billion billion right okay so th those, those are the number of permutations that that can be formed using the six words from the remaining 2030 okay so 69 quadrillions to both of them it looked like 69 69 billions but how actually the 69 quadrillions look like it looked like 69,000 trillions and quadrillions is not derived from billion it actually derived from trillion so the math they are speaking about even in the beginning when they are starting the calculation is wrong so if you start from a wrong mathematics you will always end at a wrong answer it's very simple because it's mathematics and mathematics means 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 it will never be 5 because it's mathematics. That's what the truth is all about. So now I take you to the article. John was the first man who break the Bitcoin wallet. And let's see, and we move forward towards his, his article, what he has to say. Because this, the person who is sitting with the on-chain crypto, he is no authority. I'm not a blockchain specialist, right? I, I don't do solidity programming on that. At least I mainly tweeted that he has planned to give away one Bitcoin in the wallet generated using 12 mnemonics. So with eight known words, there are two by 40, 1.1 trillion possible mnemonics. So anyway, he say that with the eight known words, there are uh, 240, uh, 1.1 1 .1 trillion possible mnemonics. To test the single mnemonic, we have to generate a seed from the mnemonic master key from the seed as i told you mnemonic derives uh, a, a private key address from the master key so he have the address from the master key as well i wrote a cpu version in rest to benchmark the performance of the cpu solver my my mac book was only be able to check 1250 mnemonics per second that's computing power he's telling about just a laptop so which means it could have taken 25 years to solve two on the power of 40 mnemonics possible mnemonics okay which he is actually talking about the possibility so he said that i ported all the necessary all the necessary code for generating and checking the mnemonic sha 256 and sha 512 uh, and ramped 160 ec addition and ec multiplications sha 256 is actually 256 number block and sha 512 is actually 500 numbers of blocks they are basically the two most common uh, industry standard you know people are using this kind of algorithm to solve different uh, mathematical problems he used this on opencl opencl is actually the uh, the graphic technology which is very commonly present in nvidia people know about opencl opengl shaders and this technology is also used to uh, render the videos okay rendering videos rendering video games you know ray tracing there's a lot of uh, things which is used by this opencl and opengl it's it's a long debate so i'm not going to go that that way but so there are many operating systems still used on C and then C++, C Sharp, Java, Python. These are other different languages. Anyway, we move forward. The GPU version was able to check 
one lakh and forty three thousand mnx per second which means it could take 83 days with the laptop it could take 25 years but with the gpu on it on a, on a pc if you have a gpu stronger gpu okay it will take only 83 days to break down all the possibilities and the pneumatic speed grows up to one lakh and 43 pneumatics per second further listen to this. he said i wrote i wrote a server application so he wrote by by himself a script a small application when he came to know about this is 83 days it's going to take so he said i wrote a server application that could orchestrate the distribution of work into batches of 16 millions 16 millions pneumatics to a pool of GPU workers. Do you understand? So what he did, he hired actually a farm which have a lot of GPUs in it. That can be a rendering farm of Microsoft where you can render 3D animations or that can be uh, a farm which was already running the Bitcoin mining uh, facility. Okay, He ran his own application which he wrote. He wrote and then he distributed that uh, in a way that a logarithm is 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 batching all the 16 million pneumatics to a pool of pool of GPUs means if if he allowed 16 million pneumatics and he divided 1 million to 16 different computers so 16 million pneumatics is been uh, is been processed just in one second more than even less than one second okay 16 million pneumatics if you have a big um, a rendering form or the um, or the mining form, okay. As the Goblin Goblin has six more than six thousand of these A6 machines, uh, which were running the uh, mining program already in it, and log the result back to the server. So what they do? He divided into batches. When the one batch finish the 16 million pneumatics he asked the server to give me a new batch I'm, I'm finished with it I'm done with it and these are the results and then he give the another batch this that uh, that communication between the GPUs and the server in, in in seconds actually because I'm telling you that 16 million pneumatics to do on the phone is not a big deal for even for a smaller form it's not a big deal then he said <laughs> I was worried about other people doing the same and is and is why I included a 0.01 BTC minor fee so the fee was very high because he was thinking that other miners will also be doing the same what he's doing so he will be not the only one who will be doing that okay because it was a competition and the competition will win by a person who have more computing power okay so it is winnable. What are you going to say now? Mathematical impossibility with the current technology for this wallet to be cracked. So what he did that he did not even wrote his own code, but he give that code as an open source to the community. If someone wants to try, he give the source to that. Okay. Yeah, now let me, what let, is that let me, number? Let me, let me correct, sorry, let me correct you over there. Not a supercomputer, a quantum computer. So it would have to be a con so it's so super it would have to be a quantum computer which we know doesn't exist yet but okay it doesn't exist today the problem is this that what he is saying is creating more fun among the investors with which the investors um, actually feel fear about the project but there is nothing about Brian you guys do not know he told everything where he live what is a driving license or i would say he is the only man in the in the defi space who told almost everything about himself you can check him out you can cross check him it's not a big deal almost every project i have tested i have tested you ask me anything i almost tested everything but seifu is the only project from the day one Till today, I am 2x on it. I am 2x on it and I am sitting on my bag. 2x. I can come out anytime I want with the profit. 
generated uh, by the protocol but i am not doing that why because the seifu has a brighter future bro live in 4k this thing is going to zero there is no single ai artificial intelligence which is conscious like a human brain to make the conscious decisions computer is a, a, it can go through an algorithm which is given by a dev and he will be always repeating that over and over and over and over again all the time until somebody change the code okay so you see try to develop um, the elephant money with the decentralized manner what happened to hang try to develop the animal farm with a decentralized manner what happened to it hack by bots why because it is very easy to hack a system which is repeating itself over and over and over again it is very easy to hack that by any kind of a hacker by knowing his algorithm he can he can he can break that algorithm down to um, down to the its breaking point and he can break that staying in in the in the in the in the in the legal platform like in the legal way you because uh, that is actually uh, if 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 any dev make a platform with a decentralized manner and nobody has to take care of uh, of that uh, of that dev then it has to be decentralized in a way that it can't be hacked that has to be hack proofed okay so somewhat centralization is needed even if you talk about centralization the biggest exchange of the world any exchange of the world is actually centralized and they are running successfully more successfully than a decentralized dapps and when he was talking about solana ethereum and 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 other stuff that they are really working bitcoin they are really working in decentralized manner they are blockchains boy they are not protocols and that's what the safe way is doing he wanted to become a, a a from protocol to a blockchain so that it could be decentralized and working in a decentralized manner but still it will be needing maintenance it will be needing uh, specific changing in codes maybe it requires more burning rate maybe it requires uh, a different way of uh, thinking of any other providing token and dabs and anything else in like blockchain have multiple things in it you know? um, anything could be changed if you keep allowing him to dump the treasury and the entrance fund um on top bro he's going to take all the money and run protect your investments please so thank you so much for watching the video if you want me to make more videos so please like subscribe and share the video i try to explain everything but still require a lot of explanation so if you want me to cover anything so uh, just write a comment and uh, like yes. subscribe yes. and share yes. Yes. Thank yes. you so much. Yes. This is yes. your host, Pavrik Shah. Yes. Bye-bye.